Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gino and today I'm going doing a review of the Gucci Arabesque Boston bag. So let's just give you a quick view of what it looks like on all sides. At the bottom here, this one has feet and the hardware is this brushed silver. And I'll open the bag in a minute. So you can probably notice that the uh, main detail of this bag is this um, leather work right here. Now this is all leather. I mean, the, um, the canvas underneath is the um, standard um, GG Supreme canvas, but then it is overlaid with this very, very beautiful black Baroque style floral leather and I believe this uh, leather work was glued on because I don't see a stitch anywhere holding these um, these designs onto the canvas this design is mirrored exactly the same on the back and the sides are all um, standard uh, black as well as the top handle as well oh, which is a rolled handle as you can see and when i first saw this online i i knew that i had to have this in my collection they did release um, a small capsule collection of this style in some of their uh, bags um, i believe the they also came in red and yellow so Hopefully one day I'll be able to get those bags in my collection, but for now, I'm just so happy that I have this piece with me. Now the zipper pulls are also leather. And the zip is quite stiff, so it does take a bit of force to actually open it, but it's fine. On the inside, it is all suede which feels very luxurious. It also has a zipper compartment up here with, a, with extra pocket. And on this side, it, can you even see it? There is a pocket right there. Now, it, this pocket is too small to fit my phone. I have an iPhone 11, so it cannot fit in this pocket, unfortunately. But it, it is such a spacious bag. It can fit on just about everything I need. So I've been using this for a solid week now, and I mean, it is a very practical bag. It, ooh, okay. Now, it also has D-rings on the side here. So I believe that originally this bag did come with a shoulder strap, but because this is a pre-loved bag, I think the shoulder strap was lost along the way. But regardless, I love this bag. I always carry a top handle. In fact, my favorite bag in general is the um, Boston slash bowling slash speedy style because I, I just like that the handle is short and I can carry it um, on my side and I just think it is an elegant, timeless style. So, and what's so good about it is that because the base has, um, is a bit more solid than the usual, uh, canvas bags. I can actually fit quite a lot in here. And the shape of the bag does not deform. It actually stays quite straight, which, uh, which I am so glad because I do have another Gucci Boston bag with me. This is uh just a regular bag within the white canvas style and this one does have um, this leather um, straps that run along the full length of it or the circumference of it to give it extra support however because there is no support in the bottom it is still just straight up canvas if i were to put the exact same amount of items 
into this one. The bag instantly deforms because there is no support at the bottom. So that's one of the downsides of um, the Boston slash Speedy bag. It's because they have no support in the bottom, whatever you put in will actually deform the bag somewhat. But for this one, the, ba uh, the base is quite solid enough that it can actually support quite a bit of weight. And I mean, after a week of use, it still looks immaculate to me. Granted, I have noticed a bit of rippling of the canvas. Like, it's not completely um, smooth. Like, if you can feel the canvas in between the leather, it does actually, well, not bubble, but it is a bit, um, it does feel a bit uh, uh, uneven. But from a distance, you can't even notice it. And yeah. This was my review. If you liked it, please comment, like, and subscribe for more, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.